assembly came. I'll do a quick video. So I was I had a little conversation via messenger with another maker recently, talking about Kydex, and was asking how I get my edges so nice. Um, he was telling me about how he goes through you know all these different steps to making the edges of his Kydex sheet. You know that real nice professional looking edge. You know it was like sanding through a bunch of grits and all this stuff and buffing it really hard by hand and all this and and the result looked fine. Um, but I was telling my process, which takes about, I don't know, a minute per sheet or less and get the same or better results. So that's what I'm going to share with you real quick here. Um, so usually most people, they're taking their, they're making their Kydex sheath, like this one here for one of my spikes. And you're shaping it on a belt sander of some kind, most, most likely. So let's assume you've done that. Um, you don't need to go any more of a grit than like 50 grit or something. Whatever you rough it out with, as long as you can make a nice shape. That's, that's as far as you really need to go on the belt sander. Um, from there, the tr you know the one thing that really sped my game up a little bit is get yourself um, one of these like Scotch Brite wheels. Um, I think Knife Kits has them for like six or eight bucks. You probably get them on Amazon. I think it started out about five inches. Um, so this one's kind of worn worn out, but it's a fairly soft. Um, it's no good for metal or anything. It's good for only for plastic, and you can use that and run your edges and, and basically one pass around the edge, and it sort of um, wipes out all those belt sander marks and gives you a fairly even finish um, and if the way it wears in it'll even cut your edges a little bit and so at that point you end up um, hopefully this shows up here like this one here where the edges are um, kind of a matte finish and a lot of sheet guys just stop there um, it doesn't look terrible but it can look better so that's sort of where you start for the, what I do so at this point what you want is you want yourself some acetone Wear a mask with this stuff. I'm not right now, so you can actually hear me talk. But get yourself some acetone, auto body store, anywhere. A um, little bit of acetone on a uh, cotton rag. Okay, just like so. Get a good soaking on there. Now, try not to get acetone all over the face of your sheath. It won't like it very much. But what you're going to do is you're going to take that soaked rag and you're going to rub it on the edge of your sheath. Okay, and you're going to do that pretty vigorously and basically we're melting the plastic is what we're doing um, we're just doing a really localized chemical melt of plastic and what it does is it equals everything out gets rid of all those sanding marks generally you can do this to the 60 grit belt belt finished edge um, it'll take a little longer but uh, it will still clean it up Again, wear a mask, you're doing this. Alright, so that's more or less there. So, I'll try to show before. So this would be before, if you can see that, hopefully you can. Okay. And then this, if you can see, I'll take some pictures, but this is after. Okay. That's pretty much it. Now the final trick, once you got that all done, a little bit of WD-40 on a rag, wipe her down with WD-40. It seems to clean up any of that little bit of residue that like on the edge here, the acetone leaves. Gets everything kind of right back to shiny the way you want it. And yeah, pro edges. Okay. So I'll take some pics, I'll put them at the end of this video, get a little better close up <clears throat> of the difference from one to the other. But that's uh, that's my pro tip, Kydex, clean Kydex edges. Hope that helped you. Thanks.